Uh, oh, oh, uh, it's called Midway now. Midway, right? Oh, Live yeah, Nation yeah, bought yeah. them, changed the name. It's a local Edmonton venue. You wouldn't know, nerds. <laughs> you wouldn't know, nerds. About this Internet shit. nerds. Because nobody. Comes I saw Zach Wild there right like, before the pandemic. I saw Children of Bodom. Yeah, that was six shows. Like in 2017, oh, 2018. Yeah. Punch yeah. buggy. No, that was way before 2018. Uh, I think Children Bodum played at Union Hall in 2018. Yeah, yeah. It, it was right before COVID. No, R.I.P. Yeah, no. R.I.P. Alexei. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember I seeing Alexei at that tour. I think that was the last tour they ever did. And I was, me and Simon were there, and we're like, he actually looks Dude, like a skeleton, like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, That's I remember so Simon and I yeah. were like joking. It's like, oh, this might be the last time we ever see them. And you know, obviously, you don't sure think enough. that's yeah. going to be true. No kidding. But it was. And Man, it's, what, uh, a, yeah, what a what a huge influence children about him had on yep a, basically everyone I, that i know everybody in a metal band that yeah I know bro yeah. i it remember i didn't the, listen to them huge, until after that show shit. and i was just like i don't really know too much like i had bought their stockholm what is it stockholm knockout yeah. live yeah. or something yeah. i bought that and i enjoyed it but i couldn't really like differentiate between songs much but then after I saw them live that time. I like started really listening to their music. Like, oh yeah, this is fucking sick! And yeah, like, it is sick, yeah. dude. I got Take into a deeper dive. I got into Children of Bodom because there was in Guitar World magazine back in the day mm-hmm. had when probably still remember does. magazines. Yeah, I mean, oh, who yeah. would remember? buy one now? But Ooh, so I man. I used to have like a subscription to Guitar World Subs. magazine, oh, which was sick. I had Guitar One, loser. Guitar yeah. player. Guitar One was okay. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah. um. So, they had the Bet You Can't Play This, mm-hmm, which is yeah. like my favorite thing, because it was like, you know, when you're like starting out guitar, it's like a lot of it is about like, well, how hard can you shred? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, that's the ultimate <laughs> test. It's like, can you actually shred? Or are you even a real guitar player if you can't shred? All right, I, I got a good guitar so, magazine story yeah, after you're done. So, um, Alexei Leo had a, um, a Bet You Can't Play This, which was like really cool. And then me and everyone, all my friends at the time in, in school who... We're into guitar. We're like trying to do this one. Bet you can't play this. Uh, it's like a, like a pentatonic tapping thing, yeah. and it was sick. <laughs> but I just remember like seeing him because you you would it would come with a a DVD. DVD, yeah. And <laughs> I you remember could, those you days. You could put the DVD in and then like watch all the shit, and you'd watch like you know corny boomer shit, and then you'd get to like finally there's like a metal guitar player. Yeah. And then Alexei Leho just looked fucking weird as hell. Like he had <laughs> and I was Alexei. Oh, I'm Alexei from Children of Bodom. Bash can't play this. And uh, he had like the fucking snake tattoo on his yeah. finger and shit. Yeah. And like for the longest time, I was like, Man, maybe I should get a snake tattoo on my finger. <laughs> Never did, obviously. But um, you need the teardrop on your cool face. Cool fucking guitar, too. Custom guitar. Yep. Like uh, he might be the last. Well, I mean, more recently, there's been some guitar players, but for a long stretch of time, Alexei Leo was like to me the only guitar player who was like doing anything new yeah, and had sure. like a, a unique yeah. style that yeah. came out of like a custom looking guitar. Yeah, the I think he, I think he did a lot for heavy metal culture. Oh, 100%. in 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 like the, yeah, the current sick. heavy metal culture generation. Like I think he did a lot for the the genre. I mean, he was the shredding. Like, Children of Bodom were my first introduction to like metal metal not oh, just really? like metallica or system of a down which yep. not slamming those guys but like well yeah but they're more they, you know they're bit equally of a... rock as they are metal to me where versus yeah. children of bodom you'd never ever ever hear on the radio yeah it's a bit more underground yeah right yeah, yeah. and uh anybody need a refill Dite, if you will yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that band was a huge yeah. influence sure yeah Thank shout you. out to Pete? children of bodom yeah incredibly in, I, there was like uh, probably Bro. like a six month period where all i listened to was Children of Bodom. Oh, it's good shit, man. I, I slammed. It could, be, it could be more than that, but I had that Hate Breeder album on yeah. Heavy Road. <laughs> heavy Road. <laughs> There's a lot of a breed. Heavy Road. Yeah. A lot of a breed. I had it on Heavy Road Bro, for like listen a, to this. a year. This is like uh, un- unrelated, but um, and slightly related. So, in high school, I had a mini disc player. Ooh, old Whoa! school. I had, I had a, a tiny MP3 mini, player yeah. that was 128 megabytes, and I think I could just Ten hold tall. those CDs that were in the I, little plastic. I could case. just yeah, hold yeah. Painkiller. I had a, the whole I, album, <laughs> bro. So this is really funny. And it took AA batteries, and they would last like ten hours, maybe. <laughs> I just <It was laughs> terrible. I fucking, tell uh, us about this thing. Tell us the, about the, the mini disc player was this sick. It held a lot, it's, actually, and it was it was a good little. Yeah, unit. weren't mini discs like the the pimped out. It was, super yeah they, it was sick version? you put tons of stuff on it yeah so that's the suburb kid the 
Yeah. I came from the inner city streets. <laughs> you live like <laughs> 10 minutes from me, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, um, we, yeah, your high school is just north of mine by like <laughs> 50 yards or something. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But so on that, I had the song Painkiller, mm. you know, with obviously a bunch of other shit too. But the version that I had, which I th- was definitely downloaded off the internet, was... It, it it skipped in one spot and it also ended early. The like old LimeWire for special. some reason, yeah. It, it, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. there was a skip in the song. I don't know if it was from the mini disc itself or if it was just in the actual file. Mm. And then the song ended before like the second solo comes in. Oh nice. no! So I used to listen to like this weird short version of Painkiller, being like, I think the this radio is, edit. Yeah, I was like, this yeah, is like the whole thing. This. And so like in one solo. There's like a skip. There's also I have a similar thing burned into my brain. In um, there's a guitar solo spot in one of the Ride of the Lightning songs. The one that goes. Fight fire with fire. Like the classical part. That's was just sick. That's my favorite part. I fucking love that. And it just like skips. Fight fire with fire. And I think I had that on my Xbox, and it skipped all the time, and it, and Bro. it's like burned into my brain. Yep. Same with the painkiller thing. So for a long time, I didn't know there was a second guitar solo like at the end of the song oh, "Painkiller." Oh no! It would just like it would just cut, and I was like, "Well, I don't want to have to try and find another one." So I, you know, I was like, I got the the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. the verse and the chorus. So whatever. Used to happen yeah. a lot with it's burned with into my brain. Lime that reminds quiet. me of um, I have a similar semi-related story and it is Judas Repli- Judas Priest related. Judas Priest. Well. Judas <laughs> so, there's this festival in Japan called uh, Classic <laughs> Rock Jam that um bro it get was us actually, on that. Oh, everybody in Japan, all the top rock musicians in Japan. We're the top rock get, musicians get in Japan. Yeah, all cool. the top rock musicians in Japan get together <laughs> and they do this big festival of western covers. Ooh, that sounds fun, actually. It's so much fun. And anyway, this was this was my big break in Japan. That's what got me into the music industry Jesus. was this, this um this event. Um Um it was awesome. I loved that. And and I met so many of my like Japanese heavy metal idols that way. And um anyway, so it was funny because there's 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 members from genres that are a little less rock and a little more pop rock kinda as well, right? It's a big mix of of, of members from around the country. But um so there you get you get your list of songs that you're, you're supposed to do. You get to you know you get to say I want to do. I here's a list of songs that I want to do, right? But obviously there's like 20 members mixing through the whole event. Yeah. Um. Not everybody gets to do the song they want to do. The producer's gonna be, gonna say you know okay you you chose this one and this one, but this guy wants to do this one, so you guys are doing this one. And anyway, you get your <laughs> list of songs to rehearse before real rehearsal, and then you do rehearsal, and then you do the gig. Um. And anyway, so you show up and do this gig, and it was funny because the rehearsal. We showed up. It was two days rehearsal for a two day gig. Showed up, and the one guy, the drummer, um, he just looked at the song list, and his his songs to drum for in the beginning was uh, electric. Or wait a minute, uh, electric. What's the song before Electric Eye? Direct Current Eye. No, before <laughs> Alternating eye. Current. No, eye. The, the Judas Priest song with Electric Eye with the yeah Alternating Current. No, eye. there's the instrumental before it. Yeah. Tesla Eye. Oh, what the fuck is it called? The yeah. Hellion. You, the, the Hellion. Hellion. The Hellion, yes. Thank you. <laughs> you knew the whole time? See, he's fucking yeah. with me. He knows it. Anyway, so it's the Hellion, uh, Electric Eye, right? So he yeah. goes and he finds the song, the Hellion, and he just learned that. Like, he wasn't a big Judas Priest guy. On drums, the, the you're saying? A, yeah. You just learned... The the guys, no part. drums? No, there's well, no, like the a little bit. Well, no, the guy's a great drummer. Hey, He's man, a great drummer man, with an amazing man. career, but he wasn't the hugest Judas Priest guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he shows up to the rehearsal. Everybody's ready to do Hellion Electric Eye. We, we get through Hellion, and then... It's ready to go for electric eye. Everybody looks back at the drummer. They're waiting for him to start the electric eye part. And he's like, what? The song's over. And we're <laughs> like, it. no, man, the electric eye. And he's like, there's more? <laughs> and we all laugh because oh, he's like, no. he didn't realize that yeah, he had to learn the next me, song go. too. Yeah. And it was just this topic of laughter for the whole rehearsal because he showed up and he only learned the Hellion part. What is it with drummers? Man, Fucking drummers, funny. bud. All right, now funny. the dance gone. Oh, let's talk it's about tiny Dan. bladder, yeah. <laughs> tiny TB syndrome. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I can tell my story that Dan 
reminded me of about okay. uh, paper subscriptions to Guitar Ooh. Player Magazine or Guitar One or whatever magazine you subscribe to. I remember I had a party back in high school. Uh, my friend came over who's a guitar player. <laughs> that was the party, just you and the one friend, eh? <laughs> no. But anyways, we had a party, and so, like, you know, uh, bathrooms are in high usage, so run out of toilet paper. <laughs> and my, I had, like, a, this is back before smartphones, so, you know, you couldn't browse Instagram or whatever while you're on the toilet. So instead, obviously, you read magazines or whatever, so yeah. I, had, I had a bunch of guitar player magazines on the toilet, yep, and so... <laughs> Uh, since there were so many people in there that we ran out of toilet paper and, and so he went through the guitar <laughs> player magazine, guitar magazine and he found all the like Slipknot ads and the, anything that had Slipknot related he used to wipe his ass <laughs> <laughs> I, like I still have those guitar Who player that? magazines that? <laughs> dude Corey Taylor's gonna hate us dude you be pissed bro <laughs> 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 anyway, so I I had a bunch of these magazines that are just like randomly missing pages, and it's like, oh yeah, there was a Slipknot ad there.